Hello everyone, welcome back to Homemade by Palma. I hope you're all doing great. I'm doing fine. I'm excited to dive into today's recipe and we are going to be making another Ghanaian favorite, a sugar bread. Who doesn't love sugar bread? Anything that has to do with baking always makes me so excited because I grew up in a bakery. My mom was and still is a baker and that brings back great memories from my childhood. So let's dive right in and make some good stuff happen. We are going to kick this off by first measuring up 5 cups of all-purpose flour and I'm using this uh, cutlery knife just to get the top leveled. Since we are dealing strictly with measurements, you want to get exactly 5 cups so that everything you know, adds up right. If you don't get the flour measurements right, it might not bake well, in fact it wouldn't bake well and it wouldn't taste good. So please make sure you get accurate measurements on this now we proof our yeast and this stage is very important if you are using active dried yeast anything other than instant yeast you need to do this so for that we are just going to use half a cup of warm water half a teaspoon of sugar and two and a half teaspoons of yeast now the sugar is important because the yeast is going to feed on that sugar and produce carbon dioxide which is going to make your bread rise so don't forget to add your sugar i'm now going to add a teaspoon and a half of nutmeg to our flour half a cup plus two tablespoons of sugar and one and a half teaspoon of salt which will balance the sweetness in this bread and yeah my knife was still the closest to me so i just used that to mix it up but feel free to use your hands and now i'm adding a teaspoon of vanilla extract an egg and my yeast which is looking good it's all proved and foamy now so that's what you you should look out for and with clean hands i'm going to mix all that up so with my egg i don't break it directly into the dough because sometimes you break an egg and you see that it doesn't look good so it's advisable to break it into a different bowl before you pour it into your mix now to this mix i'm adding some milk a little at a time and i have a total of two cups of milk in the bowl okay so just go bits at a time take it slow and get it right and i ended up using just about one and a half cups of milk for this whole process and to that i'm going to add one third cup of margarine this margarine is a little bit salted but then not enough to change the taste of the bread so you can also use unsalted butter if you want to and the taste will still come out great since you already have some salt in it now i'm going to flour my clean surface and that's where i'm going to knead this bread and guys you need to give this a good 10 to 15 minutes of kneading time so this process is important because it's going to help you activate those glutens and that's what's going to make your bread chewy airy and light so if you don't do this properly you're going to end up with a flat bread and it's it's going to be very dense you wouldn't like it so please give this a good knee time give it attention show it some love and you'll be all right one thing that also helps me is using a timer so i make sure i reach that 10 minute mark or 15 minute mark that will keep you in check and i use different styles to knead this bread i use my wrist i use my knuckles and everything because it's hard work now when you poke this bread and it comes back to shape you know you've done a good job i'm just putting some cooking spray into this bowl i try to get into to every side and that's where i'm going to let my bread do rise in so just make sure i get the oil all around the dough so that it doesn't stick and now i'm just going to cover that up and give it time to rise okay you can go watch tv read a book give it time to do its thing I'm 
going to grease up my baking tray and my bread pan using melted butter and this is important because it's going to make the bread come off easily when you are done baking it okay so make sure you get it in there very well into all the corners so your bread doesn't stick in 50 minutes my bread has risen well and it has doubled in size but it this can be different for every other person depending on how cold or warm your climate is or how much covering you use for this dough when it's rising so yeah yours could take longer or take a shorter time i'm now going to get this dough into smaller sizes and mold it to the shapes i want so this particular one is going to the bread pan and this just watch closely i'm going to show you how i do that okay so we are going to pull it towards us and tuck it in we try to make it tight so that it doesn't open up when it's baking but it's a good thing this can is really small so it's going to help keep that in shape so you tuck the sides in you tuck it towards you like so And I roll that just applying a little bit of pressure to make sure it's well tucked in. And now we are going to work on the smaller round pieces and uh, i try to get those as equal as possible though i know i haven't but yeah that's still okay so what you're gonna do is try to pinch it all together get it to one end and pinch it together and that's going to keep that closed as well then you arrange it in your baking tray so i'm going to do that for all of those pieces I'm preparing these so that we can keep them in a warm place so that they rise for the second time. That even gives it a better texture. And after just 25 minutes, this is my result. This is what I have. And it looks good to go to the next stage. And that's the baking stage. So I'm going to bake these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes okay you need to watch it so that you don't burn your bread and this is the beautiful result this is our perfect sugar bread mm, just look at that bread mm, isn't it such a beauty and you know i have to show you how it looks like it came out great with a good texture so this is it i'm just slicing mm, smells good and i can hear it calling my name already ha huh? so this is our bread so i allowed it to sit down for a while to cool down so that it's more steady when i'm cutting into it guys i do hope you replicate this recipe it's a really good one and you would enjoy it with your family please subscribe like comment share and turn on your post notification bell so that you don't miss any videos i post Thank you and see you soon.